cats in my lap and uh, my stomach growled and he literally just looked around so confused as to what can make such a strange noise. But uh, aside from that, before we get started here with Star Wars Battlefront 2, um, I just want to talk about a few things. I, I, if you're watching this by now, you probably are aware of the controversy controversy that uh, this game has been the center of, um, mostly revolving around the fact that when you go, when you play this game, you do not have all of the heroes unlocked from the get-go, which, you know, I guess that's fine, like, you know, it, it, it would be nice to have everything unlocked from the get-go, but, um, you know, at the end of the day, maybe they want to keep some guys behind, uh, like a progression system, so, you know, I, I'm not a huge fan of it, but I understand. The problem is that, obviously, Darth Vader, they changed it, but Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker costed 60,000 credits, which is a, uh, a rather high amount. Um, I believe that the math conducted behind it, if you don't spend your credits on anything else, it would take you about 40 hours to accumulate 60,000 credits based off of the math of playing uh, the multiplayer, how many credits you get on average per multiplayer match. 40 hours to unlock one character. Assuming that you're not buying anything else in the game, which is fucking absurd, honestly. <laughs> um, obviously, it's like a promote. It's kind of, not a promotion, but it's like a kind of a subtle, subtle hint to the gamers that you should be buying some uh, microtransactions to uh, s uh, speed up the process of acquiring said characters. So, needless to say, it's something that um, a large amount of the community did not enjoy. I believe that. That has given EA the most downvoted comment in Reddit history. I, th I saw that headline. Uh, it was like a minus 500,000 comments last I saw. It's probably a lot higher now. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> Needless, I, I guess, again, um, there were a lot of pre-orders canceled for this game. And I was honestly tempted to. The only thing that, the only, <laughs> the only reason that didn't, uh, reasons that kept me from not canceling my pre-order is, uh, Re or reasons that kept me from canceling my pre-order is that they did decrease the amount required, so they cut it in four. Now, granted, they did cut the amount of credits you get from completing the campaign. I believe this is the character you play throughout the campaign, and uh, she costs. She used to cost twenty thousand to unlock. Now she costs five thousand. The reward for completing the campaign used to be twenty thousand credits. Now it is five thousand. So I don't know. I don't know if it's... I think it's supposed to still take, like, 10 hours to unlock these characters, which is still kind of long. So I'm still not a fan of what they've done here. It's EA, so I'm not really surprised. But like I said, the reasons that kept me from canceling the pre-order is that I love Star Wars. I did play some multiplayer games yesterday, and I had fun. Um, I don't like that a lot of the more powerful stuff is locked behind cards. I, I've never enjoyed... I've never enjoyed when games, like, lock things behind like progression walls I like I like games where the multiplayer is everyone's on like even footing like Overwatch or like Halo old Halo I don't know how new Halo is but like Halo you there's definitely at least used to be everyone would be on even footing you know power weapons would spawn on the map but that you know that's part of the game it wasn't like you could just have a star card for having a rocket as a secondary I don't know not a huge fan. I, honestly, I would have been really happy if <laughs> if they just took the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 and just put it on the Frostbite engine. Give it good graphics and everything else the same about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Would have, uh, I would have spent 100 bucks on that, if not more. But, um... Anyways. Also, the only re the re another reason I didn't want to cancel my pre-order is because I didn't want to have to deal with customer support being like, why don't you want to keep your pre-order? Blah, 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 blah giving you the runaround and stuff. It's EA. I'm not really surprised. And I'm kind of disappointed. But, um... We're going to play the campaign. It's supposed to be really short, so that's kind of unfortunate. But, uh... It's better than nothing, I guess. The first one didn't have a campaign at all, so... That was unfortunate, but... We're going to play the campaign. And, uh... See how it goes. I don't know. Maybe I should try. If the campaign's that short, 
let's go ahead and try the hardest difficulty. We're probably going to get wrecked. And if I start getting wrecked over and over again, we'll probably just bump it down. But for now, we're going to start on Special Forces difficulty. See how it goes. I've ha I haven't really heard much about the campaign. I've heard it's fun from some places. Other places I've heard it's very cliche. I guess it can be fun and cliche, so maybe it's both of those. But we shall see. Playing the game that is the center of such controversy is, uh... We'll see how it goes. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. You must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. The Empire's time has come. And you don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. BZ-6. Which can't do anything if the droid is deactivated. Until it hears the access code, this ID-10 can't be Please, just let me work in peace. Not a handsome fellow. Hey, bud. I do enjoy campaigns that don't follow, like, the conventional, like, good guy. Save every- save the world. Just one of the things I thought that was cool about the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign is that you just- you play as a trooper. So you do originally, like, start on the good side, and then, obviously... Order 66 happens, and then you're suddenly, like, on the bad side, but you're not, like, a bad guy. You're just doing what you're told. And I thought that was fun. I love the Frostbite engine graphics, though.
stealth. Oh my god, this game has the detection meter too. Every game I've played recently has this. <laughs> Shadow of War, Call of Duty. This game. What else have I played? Just those two. I guess. Don't worry about it, you didn't see anything. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, I got a checkpoint. That's kind of a cheesy checkpoint, but I'll take those. My stomach is hungry. I am hungry. I... Fuck it. Ow. Oh. I guess if you're between the two things, then you still die. Because I wasn't touching it, but it still died. So that's fine. We're learning. Oh man. Well. Off to a fabulous start. We've died twice in the... Uh... Does this even count as a tutorial mission? <laughs> We're smarter than that. Almost got baited. Stealth Master. If you're done, regroup with me. It's time. Why is she talking like that? It's really weird. Whatever. Cats, my cat's gonna fall off my leg. It's like sliding off as he's asleep. You can hear me from that far, then how come anyone, no one else could? Whatever. Right on time. Let's go. Agent Half, can you read me? Loud and clear, Commander Versio. You're right on time. I'm moving to the communication center. Copy that. Once I've located and destroyed the stolen Imperial message, I will signal for extraction. Droid, open the cell. Hey, that's enough! You're locked up until after Andor. After that, we'll fix you. Can I get a weapon? Hey, Akbar. The rebels still think we don't know about Sullen. They have no idea what's waiting for them at Endor. We need to keep it that way. If the rebels decrypt that transmission before I delete it, everything will fall apart. Okay. You're up. Don't worry 
about it. Just well, like a little slap from a baton, he's down. Easy. Kinda of scared of how much damage these things are gonna do. Please stop interrupting me. Imperial encryption is very complex. Where have I heard that voice before? Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. I have no idea how much damage they do, so I'm just taking things cautiously. Aww. Shooting all the walls, apparently. So basically just go for headshots and life will be good. Someone yelling, oh. There's the Wilhelm scream. Damn it. So far so good. that way. No problem. We're like the greatest Imperial Trooper of all time. 
don't give her a target. Yeah, oh, that's, that's how's that working out for you? Oh god, I'm actually low. Bounce. We outy. Sure about that? Hello, frame rate. Goodbye, frame rate. Mission accomplished, Commander. Leave zero casualties. Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko! Those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. The day. Rebellion dies. I wonder if they're gonna like go off script here and like actually take you down a path where you kill the rebellion, but probably not. 